Jungle Cruise, the brand new Disney film, which is based on one of their rides, and I went to this ride. You know, about probably almost clocking nine years, I went to the States, went to Disneyland, actually went on the Jungle Cruise ride. And the weird thing is, and I can vouch to that, knowing I went on it, is when it got announced, you know, I was probably the same people who were questing Pirates of the Caribbean. Wait, you're making a movie based on wearing your whites? I mean, Jungle Cruise is just you sit on your ass on a boat while circling around while a stipper is, you know, pointing out robot animals and going all, ooh, look at the birds, ooh, look at the tiger, ooh, look at the elephant, oh, the, the natives, hi natives, what's with the big point sticks for? Like, essentially, that's you wide. And the poor, <laughs> and you're thinking, okay, you know, well, the last one they decided to do was Pirates of the Caribbean, and it became a franchise. So, let's see how this goes. But, I just came out seeing the movie, just came back from the theater, and this movie is fine. It's fine. It's not the worst film I've ever seen. It's possible. And what made this fine, uh, this movie fine, possible, not good, but just meh, is is elements of it that makes the stuff that does work suffer. Like you got, like, the big thing about this movie, and it's kind of like a wine and die moment with this film, and that is you need to make the the chemistry or the, the rivalry and the, and the friendship or the bickering between the main two characters played by Emily Blunt and, and Wayne Johnson, aka The Rock. But the problem is, like, the actors, they're, they're, they're fine. And the reason that they're just fine in this movie is because the material that they are given isn't making them elevate the material. Like, they're on this boat. They're, they're, you know, it's on this boat. I mean, the story is that Emily Blunt is playing uh, a doctor who is uh, trying to find the tears of the moon that it will cure a lot of diseases and medicine and it's the rock um the rock plays um a stipper who knows the way so it's like an you know, Jones. actually to be fair it's very it feels like a very friendly a family friendly version of the mummy like the brendan fraser films versions of uh, the mummy that's basically what it feels like um but because they're on this boat heading to the destination, you need to have this the the writing to be at least good and possible and at least let us care about the characters uh, to the point. But it doesn't. Basically, here's the conversation. Oh, you're a woman wearing pants, which I never never understood the joke. A woman wearing pants, what we do. And this, and while you have, you're a terrible, you're sufferable. I can't, I, I, I can't believe I, uh, I'm in the same boat as you. I can't wait, wait for. And it's the same conversation for like thirty minutes. To the point, I'm like, uh, this, these characters feel they're getting old and very quickly getting old, old and overstaying their welcome in a way. And it suffers the film. Like, the, the highlight of, like, character-wise is, um, Jack White, uh, Whiteman's character. And he's playing the, the brother. The, you know, the English, like, ugh. Look at this, disgusting, ugh, disgusting, ugh. Let me, uh, get my, ugh, get my little tissue while I clean the dirtiness of this disgusting arrangement. Ugh, ugh. Ugh. Yeah, he's good in that. Yeah, he he was probably the highlight of the main three characters, and all the West has felt out oh, this like to the point when the uh, when the events happened, I didn't really care about the characters. I didn't really care the journey that they were on, um, and all that. The villains, like here's the thing: the villains are cartoony. They are like you know. You have, you have the German characters, you have the, also, size, you know, 
you know, same size uh, and all kind of stuff. Um, so you know the the villains ain't that flesh out. The 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 editing is very odd. I mean, you're having it feels like you if. It feels like with the editing, it felt like, hey, we're doing a family friendly, a uh, family, uh, a family friendly movie, and we are try, and we need to keep these kids' attention. So we'll do while having people are having a weird conversation. We'll just every two seconds do a cut, even though it doesn't make sense. And it just feels odd, and even the way it comes to the action, it the camera's so close, not like so close you can't see anything. But if you, personally, I was like, come on, just pull the camera away a little bit. Let, you know, you don't need to really go up the, you know, the actor's face or at the actor's, like, shoulder to understand what's going on. Um, so the action was a bit odd. You know, it, it's what, the CG is very questionable. There's a, a tiger um, as one of the characters and you're like, god damn, clearly uh, working through the pandemic did not... Um, up so <laughs> to up the improvement. Um, it it's, it's a film that just suffers and suffers from the problems with the movie than the positives. I'm like this movie is beautiful to look at. Uh, as I said, the actors are doing a, a, a must of a good job as they are with the material that they are given. But it's just it's. Would I recommend this movie? No. Uh, you know what? This is a movie that it would be... You walk in with your kids. They'll probably drag you to see this movie. And you're going to... It's going to be possible for you to watch. And... It's just... I could basically go all day about... Okay, these are the problems with the movie. These are the reasons I did not care about this movie. As much as I maybe should or give a damn about, and it's a it's a, it's a pain, it's a uh, it's a suffer of it. Um, but yeah, I just didn't. This film doesn't click with, click with me actually, and yeah.